this video we're going to be talking about backing up your WordPress blog. Now backups are just like an insurance policy. You never really want to have to use them but if the old crapola hits the fan blades it's good to know that you got it. And basically with a backup you're looking at having two items you need to be concerned with. Those two items are your database and your files. Because if you've got just the database backed up and not the files, eh, you're really just barking up the wrong tree here. You don't have everything you need. So you gotta have a backup of both items. So ideally, you wanna do a backup of both items at the same time. Now, at least ways in the same day anyway. So whenever you know that your blog is perfect, then you wanna do a backup. You don't wanna do a backup whenever, you know, you got problems. So you want to do, you want to have a good solid backup, I guess is the point I'm trying to make. So one way in which you can do this is totally manually. You do that through your cPanel control panel for your files and your PHP admin for your database. And that what I'm talk what I'm talking about there is your MySQL databases. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, I'll show you here in a second. Now there are plugins that can take care of a lot of this stuff for you, basically automate the whole thing. Now one of the plugins that is part of that core plugin package that we uh, got for, from that uh, traffic uh, free traffic getting SEO plugin thingy from Jeff Johnson, it's the WPDB backup, something like that. Here we are, WordPress database backup. And if we do a search on our WordPress.org site, just like we did for our other plugins and themes and such, that's WordPress.org. Go to Extend, click on Plugins. Then we do a search here for Backup. And you can search by Relevance, Highest Rated, yada, yada, yada. And then whichever one you want. But under Relevance, the first one that comes up is one that I'm referring to here, the DB Backup. My only drawback to this, and it's not that big of a deal in this instance, is that it was last updated a couple of years ago. Now, normally, as I had mentioned in the prior video talking about plugins, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. So this tells me that with this many downloads and this kind of a rating, chances are pretty good. It's as good as it's going to get. So there's no reason to update it any further if you don't have to. That's my theory anyway, and I'm sure that's his theory. At least that's what I choose to believe. But I haven't seen any bad write-ups on it saying that it doesn't work, you know, don't do this. So I continue to use this. And frankly, uh, Jeff Johnson knows his stuff, so he's a smarter guy than I am, and I don't think that he would suggest this to be part of the core plugin package for his plugin if it wasn't worthwhile. So that being said, there are, as you can see, several other options to choose from if you so desire. Now there's a plugin in here, and probably a couple of them. I just came across this one, and it's called... WordPress Easy Backup, and evidently it's got a decent rating, it's uh, very new, and it's got several thousand downloads, so there's got to be something going right with it, right? But it says that it can back up everything within the public HTML, and I believe it also says it'll do the directories, all files, I think it'll do the database as well, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but this is one that I would rate, I would just kind of wait a little bit longer to see what other kind of ratings uh, that might generate from. And this is one of those deals where you might even, because a backup is very important, folks, this might even merit you going to one of the forums, like the Warrior Forum, and doing a post and they're requesting information or in, input on what kind of a plug-in would you use or method that you use to back up your WordPress blog files and database and see what kind of unbiased response you get. That's always a good idea. Uh, and as you probably know by now, because I'm always harping on checking out the Warrior Forum for things just like that. Now then, what I would do is, and actually what I do, is I use that WP DB backup plugin to do my database. And actually, I have this configured to do it automatically, and it's emailed to me. Let me show you how I do that. We go back to our WordPress blog dashboard. We click on the plugins just to make sure we got it activated. Then we come over here to backup under tools. And this is the interface for that particular plugin. Now, myself, I want to back up everything. I mean, if everything is working properly, then I want to back up everything that makes it work properly. And there's a couple of exceptions right here. Spam comments and post revisions. I find no reason whatsoever, for me anyway, to include the post revisions or the garbage. So if you have issues with hoarding, then you might want to check these boxes here to also have your post revisions and spam comments 
uh, backup as well. Otherwise, these are the tables, as it says here, the core items that are always backed up using this particular plugin. Now, you also have some more down here that are created with particular plugins that you add to your WordPress blog setup like for example the contact form, the WP robot, things that we've talked about briefly in the past you want to check these too if you want to have these backed up as well and as just like it says here if you want to of course with only four of them there's not that big of a deal but if you got a bazillion of them in here you can just select the top one hold the shift key down and select the bottom one boom it'll check them all for you and then backup options you've got these other two options here to choose from this one here under backup options you can save it to the server you can download it to your computer or you can email it. Now this is a instant deal here. Then however you've got it set up up top here, you can click on this and it'll happen right now. Now myself, I'm more of a hands-off kind of person when possible, so I'd rather schedule it. I would schedule it to do it uh, once weekly, you know, once daily might be a little overkill, but depending upon what kind of activity you have going on in your blog, if you've got a lot of advertisers, if you've got a lot of activity, then you may want to do it once daily. Now the twice daily, once hourly, these and the never, these are options I would not even consider because that's just too much and once daily is plenty uh, once weekly again depending upon the activity you have going on in your blog set the email you want to mail to and then boom check that box there wash your hands you're done and of course you also want to make sure that you're getting that backup too so if you find a week down the line or a day away from now that you did not get that backup guess what come on back in here and check it out at that point you definitely want to do the um, instant backup just so you've got it and that's how you can configure and use this particular plugin now one thing you might want to also consider is old school just do it manually the whole nine yards the database as well as the files and to do that you can go to your cpanel or your FTP client I'll show you the cpanel right now and once you've logged into your cpanel you come on down here to file manager I've already done so. I've already opened it up. And everything, depending upon where your blog is located at, whatever directory or subdirectory or subdomain you have it located at, you want to select all of the files within that location. That basically take the position that all of these files have something to do with your blog working as perfectly as it is. So you just simply select all of those files. Of course, I don't have anything in the CGI bin, so there's no reason for me to check that, but I could. And and then with all of them selected you just right click anywhere in here come on down here to compress and choose your compression weapon here I'm gonna go with zip and you scroll down a little bit here just make sure everything is done yeah that's cool scroll down a little bit more here just to make sure this might be I think that's still in the video but once everything is right the way you want it then you just click on compress files and then once it's done it's going to close that up it's going to give us a compressed file here let me show you right here where it's at right there and the name that it gave you is the very first one that you selected so if you left this one out or let's say you selected the CGI bin uh, that would be the first one that would be the name that is given to your zip file this is not that big of a deal you can always change the name just let it be known that this particular zip file contains your entire backup so if the crap hits the fans what I would do is I would delete this and I've done this before I would delete the CGI bin provided of course that it's empty and is totally meaningless and I would rename this CGI bin and then I would simply delete all the directories and files within this directory and then I would upload and you can do that right here I would upload that zip file named or renamed CGI bin just like it is here and upload it to this directory unzip it and then by unzipping it you will have this zip file as well as everything else just as it is right now in place and then provided that your database is intact you're good to go and that's really easy I know it, it sounds like a lot but basically you're compressing everything you would then download this to your organized file let me show you that here under my FTP client remember way back in the beginning of the video series we we're talking about organizing stuff and doing backups and images and all that kind of stuff in our organized folder well that's what we do under backups we would put that under our files that way we've got our files zipped up nice and tight right there that's just one way using your C panel control panel now if we were to 
I can go ahead and delete this guy now. Oh yeah, you can always use these guys up here too. I just right click here just to show you that's another option. But we don't need that. Delete that. Thank you. Bye. Now another thing, let's go ahead and get out of here, is if you come on down here to Where's our database? Here we go. PHP admin. Now, if yours is like, I believe, cPanel version 10, then you won't see this. What you'll need to do is you'll need to go into here, and down at the bottom of the page somewhere, you'll see something of a very small print, PHP admin. But that's where you want to go is PHP admin. Give it a minute. And here, you want to make sure you got the right table. Right here we do, because that's the only table we got in here. And then you come on up here to export. Make sure you got all of these tables in here selected, like so. And usually that's done by default. I was surprised it wasn't. Now you want to make sure you got SQL selected here. And what else we got going on here? Come on down to the bottom here. Save as file. None is fine. Click on go. It's going to ask you where do you want this thing to be downloaded to. And you're going to save file. Click on OK. Navigate to where you want it to be saved, which would be that. Oh, here, let me just show you. Because it'll be coming in a really dinky file. Here's our organized file folder right here. And under backups. I got database and files. This is where our zip file just went from our cPanel control panel zip little escapade and this is where that one would go. So right in here click on save and as you can see right here we go we're done. Didn't take long at all. And that's it. Now that you've got your backup, you've got your database backed up and stashed away in your organized directory on your computer, and you've got your files backed up. Now, another way to do this is we can go and close this guy out here. We can get out of here. Is through your FTP client. You just navigate to the location where you want the stuff to be downloaded to, and with the help of that plugin, that I showed you to do the backing up automatically of your database. You've got that part taken care of. Boom. Now you need your files. So you just open up your files directory here on your computer and then depending upon whatever FTP clients you've got will depend upon exactly how your uh, interface looks but typically on the left hand side will be your local or your computer. On the right hand side will be your remote or your server. But Then you just navigate to the location of your blog files and this is exactly the way it was set up in our cPanel control panel you can just select everything in here left click hold and drag it on over into your files directory or you can right click and select download however whatever but that way you've got your files backed up and you want to do this on a regular basis you know put it posted on your computer monitor or something say time for backup whatever set your alarm clock for every other day however you want to feel comfortable in having to do replacement work because if you do a backup once a week and you do work in your blog every day and you have a problem then depending upon when your backup was last done and your problem occurred you've got that much work to do to get it back up to par from the time that it was backed up to the time that you've got the uh, the, the work you've been doing hopefully that made sense so that's why I suggest a daily backup if you do work on a daily basis. If you do work on a weekly basis, then do a weekly backup. So that way you don't have that much work to do to get it back up to where it was just prior to it going you know, belly up. But that's your backup. That's a good, well-rounded, several options to choose from kind of way to do backups. The key point here is to do a backup. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have fun. Have a great day.